what we say we're going to do. It's that easy. Sell us your car. Give me the bin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. See Concept. Diamonds Direct has revolutionized jewelry shopping by eliminating middleman markups and giving you direct access to the world's finest diamonds straight from the diamond cutters. The second C, Choice. Diamonds Direct's multi-million dollar selection of precious diamonds is unparalleled. And with over 4,000 designer settings to choose from, you are empowered to make a decision that works for your style and taste. The third C, Confidence. With a nationwide price guarantee, free lifetime warranty, our unique 110% diamond upgrade policy, and our no-pressure, no-risk environment, you have total peace of mind. And the fourth C, community. Every year we partner with local charities and nonprofits with significant donations of time, money, and jewelry to make this a better place for everyone. Diamonds Direct, as unique, special, and rare as every diamond in our showcase. Get store hours and directions at DiamondsDirect.com. This is Chief Meteorologist Brad Barton live in the WBAP Weather Center. New severe thunderstorm warnings are now being issued for Denton and Wise Counties. Stand by as we alert our other stations in the area on WBAP. We interrupt programming at the request of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued new severe thunderstorm warnings for eastern Wise County and for Denton County until 1145. A severe thunderstorm is spotted near uh, just northwest of Sanger, moving south at 40 miles per hour. This storm may contain ping pong ball size tail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Locations in the path of this storm include Carrollton, Denton, Louisville, Flower Mound, the Colony, Corinth, Highland Village, Trophy Club, Louisville, Little Elm, Roanoke, Pecan Acres, Crumb Pilot Point, Hickory Creek, and Justin. Also sections of Interstate 35E and W. Once again, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for eastern Wise County and for Denton County until 1145. A severe thunderstorm is located nine miles northwest of Sanger, moving south at 40 miles per hour with potential ping pong ball sized tail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. All North Texas stations affected by this alert are requested to relay the preceding message. Okay, and I'll give you a quick new radar update on this this uh, thunderstorm. It is really intense across Cook County. I'm seeing this thing now. It's got 43,000, almost 44,000 foot tops on it. It's actually indicating a strong mesocyclone in the southwestern flank, uh, west of Valley View. But, I mean, if you're on I-35 from Gainesville down to Valley View, um, you're in a bad way. Um, and uh, if you are, let's say, say, north of Sanger, moving north on I-35, you need to stop and let this storm pass by for the next hour. If you're coming out of the casinos and you're just now crossing the Texas boundary, same thing. You need to stop there at that travel stop. Pull off in that parking lot and let this particular storm pass. It's moving south by southeast uh, pretty slowly, but it is uh, going to be covering up I-35 with just, you know, impassable uh, weather conditions. There's also a strong thunderstorm northwest of Thackerville that is moving to the southeast, and it's showing a 37,000-foot top and some small hail with it as well. All of these storms are producing hail of some size, and very gusty winds. But again, uh, going back to our original warning here now for Wise County, most of Wise County is covered up in uh, very, very strong thunderstorm activity from Valley View west all the way out to about the Wise County line. And it's moving into northwestern Tarrant County as well, uh, heading to the south, southeast at 45 miles per hour. This storm may contain large hail and damaging winds. And a reminder that all of Denton County is under a severe thunderstorm warning until I-45, and that Dallas and Hunt and Kaufman counties have now been placed under severe thunderstorm watch until 1 o'clock in the morning. We'll keep you advised. Live from the WBAP Weather Center, meteorologist Brad Barton. Back to local programming on WBAP. Sure,